Hello everyone and welcome to welcome to what I don't know. Okay, so today we are going to discuss something about called uh, stereographic projection in complex analysis. So I've been studying this stereographic projection uh, for so many years and I find this is very interesting concept to discuss. It's not that much easy and it's not that much hard but it's very interesting topic so that's why I'm going to tell something that what is my views on the stereographic projection and I don't know I mean whoever discovered this stereographic projection I mean was clearly a genius because this is like butter okay this is like butter because if you talk about the real line space like real line like this what is this just infinity and minus infinity and everything is done okay infinity minus infinity and everything is done and there is something somewhat like zero here but for two dimensional geometry means basically for complex analysis of course we know that we can treat complex number as a field and real number as a field but for real number sometimes uh, mathematics is quite easy for complex number there is so many variety that's that's what it is that's what it is and so for complex analysis we know that two complex number we cannot basically compare them okay if there is something i then we cannot uh, totally comp uh, compare these numbers means if some numbers are properly imaginary number then we cannot compare these numbers so that's the problem with complex analysis means the complex plane because in complex plane we can only define infinity but not minus infinity because like this complex plane if you can imagine complex plane is like this kind of circle okay and let's say this is infinity just imagine this is infinity got it then this is let's say zero then where is minus infinity you cannot define minus infinity such a way even if you like you, say, you can draw this kind of line and you say that this is minus infinity because it's opposite to it but remember one one thing you can always rotate this thing because if this is infinity then this would be minus infinity and you can like uh, jump into some contradiction so infinity and minus infinity they both don't go together well in complex analysis so that's what the problem and for that uh, basically in complex analysis infinity is defined to be uh, to be basically it is called the like over the horizon okay everything is over the horizon you know like a, a song from Bob Dylan it says over the horizon that that kind of thing so let's say this is the horizon after this horizon there is infinity so like this kind of thing so these are all infinity means this in complex analysis there are like so many infinities and these infinities are basically basically infinity means basically the plus infinity okay basically in complex analysis if you say that g minus infinity that should be infinity it very much ambiguity i mean it very much ambiguous to say this kind of thing but in complex analysis we know that we cannot compare these things so we have to define kind of like this because minus infinity they don't exist in complex plane so that's a problem and for that problem what is stereographic projection is is that uh, in stereographic projection we can basically visualize the complex plane uh, basically in a bounded region because our mind can only think up to some level after that we cannot think so that's the problem got it okay so for that uh, but i don't know as i said that i don't know whoever make this is a genius but i don't know his name or her name so at first just co uh, construct a beautiful sphere uh, like this it should be unit sphere okay but you can take any sphere but unit sphere is very important because one is only, one is everything one and zero that is the center and you draw this kind of uh, beautiful circle and just imagine now the complex plane over there like this like this no i'm not good at drawing so just like this so this is the north pole and this is the south pole got it and this is not geographic class this is mathematics class okay <laughs> this is very funny so basically this lower part is uh, basically like this this is the upper part and the lower part is generally like this like this the lower part is basically below this plane so this plane is up, up to infinity a, everywhere got it so that's the thing and now you just take any so this is the north pole we can see the thing is that if you take any point let's say you take this kind of point like this any point over there or here anywhere anywhere on the plane basically complex plane uh, out of this sphere okay not inside the sphere because you can see that inside the sphere there is also a place okay there is basically an, basically an open disk okay that the sphere basically covers so you take you draw a line like this okay 
so now you can imagine that this line basically cuts the uh, this this is called basically the sphere is capital s this is the south pole this is the north pole this is and this is are different okay and you can imagine this as let's say small z and let's say this cuts at this capital z got it and when you see this kind of thing you can imagine that if you take another point over here if you draw again another line like this you can see that these two lines or any line if you uh, draw two distinct points then there should be two distinct lines means any two lines for this uh, distinct points uh, they don't they don't basically meet except at n that's the, that's a simple concept and via this you can plot basically any point on this complex plane uh, to the to this uh, to this upper surface or to this uh, basically the upper upper hemisphere okay and for any point inside uh, this sphere basically inside this sphere you can just draw this kind of perpendicular lines okay you can draw basically these perpendicular lines and you know wherever it cuts that is the point on the lower surface means the is called the lower hemisphere or the southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere is basically totally the point outside the sphere and inside the sphere is this and for this boundary is basically z is equals to small z for this boundary okay for this bound uh, boundary boundary region so that is called the basic stereotypic projection there is lots of theories and i basically follow this book john conway very important mathematics conway's book is very fine okay so now then the question is that what is north pole and what is south pole so basically what is south pole is generally this zero so this zero zero plus uh, i zero this map to this south pole got it and what is in so we can see that when these points are basically far apart like this you can see these cutting points are basically tends to z means if z tends to infinity then this uh, capital z this basically capital z tends to n so we can see as north pole as a point let's say uh, we can see that uh, this is z infinity point okay this means that basically a point z infinity is there and this mapped into this point in uh, north pole that the, that's the way it is and you should remember that z infinity is not on one side it's basically every side okay because uh, like the infinity is everywhere in complex plane i mean you, you can think about this and you can understand that also from this point there is z infinity and that basically tends to this and what is z infinity z infinity is nothing but like uh, like infinity plus uh, i infinity or infinity plus i y or uh, x plus i infinity these are all infinities these are all basically infinities basically means if one component going to infinity then basically the number is going to infinity so that n is basically the z infinity point and the whole plane has been mapped to this sphere very beautifully and the other point i mean basically it is called the conjugate or sometimes called the opposite direction point it is the origin so this is how a unit sphere can be represented by this kind of complex i mean a complex plane can be represented by this unit sphere and it's very very handsome concept and there is lots of theories behind this it means uh, for this small z if you take any point on small z so you can take small z as x plus i y and corresponding to this small z you can find a value of capital z via some relation via some parameterization of uh, some straight line okay, you know this straight line it is on the tangent normal situation it is the 3d 3d geometry you can find it very easily all right so that's it for today so this is not very much theoretically but this is very much uh, hypothetically discussion so that's it and yes that's it and i don't know why it is called studio projection maybe studio means basically 3d so that's why it's called uh, three dimensional projection or studio projection so that's it thanks for watching